morning traders, I'm George Troop here filling in for Neil Wilson once again, uh, taking a look at the headlines this morning after European markets have opened uh, about 20 to 30 minutes ago. Uh, and it's a pretty mixed morning uh, for stocks and indices. Uh, you can see here the DAX is up slightly, 0.49%, uh, while the FTSE is having a worse morning down 0.75% roughly, uh, following on from a pretty poor end to last week, uh, what with coronavirus easing measures uh, cancelled uh, and some lockdown measures reintroduced in the north of England following rising cases. Um, this morning follows a mixed session in Asian markets, uh, some key PMIs coming out today across the world, um, the Chinese, Chinese Kai Chin market PMI um, expanded at the fastest pace in nearly a decade in July, um, come with that reading at 52.8, uh, which did initially lift Chinese blue chips uh, and indices across Asia, um, but they have pulled back what with a global surge of new market of new coronavirus cases, um, as well as some concerns regarding U.S. lawmakers struggling to hammer out a new stimulus plan um, over there for unemployment um, and general coronavirus relief fund. Um, they, the U.S. Uh, the White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows announced he was not optimistic on reaching an agreement anytime soon on that deal. Uh, and that's really shown investors um, a little bit nervous at those prospects there. Um, we had a, a big end to the week last week. The Tech 100 is still still doing quite well today, up about 1.3% in the futures. Uh, oh, this is the cash market, actually. Um, following those huge results from Amazon, Apple, and Facebook last week. Um, and that led to uh, helping the S&P 500 climb 5.5% last month overall. Um, you can see that there with this daily chart. Um, so really quite impressive despite all the other uh, circumstances. NASDAQ up 6.8%. Um, so that's all pretty positive there based largely on those, on those big hitters dragging it up. Um, but concerns about labor market virus developments uh, this could be a very different month so we'll have more PMIs coming out today for the eurozone uh, in about half an hour uh, that could give some sign uh, as to the industrial recovery since the end of lockdown um, uncertainty as we knew last month led to a huge fall down for the dollar as well if we have a look at the dollar index we can see that uh, really clearly that fall off for July um, following a pretty tough June and of course earlier on it's pretty much wiped out all gains for the whole of 2019 um, and seems to be continuing on a downward spiral slightly better today um, but that has as we know and discussed much last week uh, had a real impact in the gold market um, combined with real yields rates falling to a huge low um the gold markets hit a new high this morning uh cash markets about 1985 heading up further and closer and closer towards that 2000 mark um oil quick check in there um that has eased slightly concerns over oversupply as OPEC and its allies due to pull back from production cuts in August, uh, as well as this increase in global cases, uh, rising fears of slower pickup in fuel demand. Uh, as you can see, that's slightly lower today. That's all we've got time for now. We'll be back around the US market opening to see what's been going on there. Thanks very much. Have a great morning.